I've always thought about you as, you know, you're not from Detroit, but you've always embraced the city, and the city, uh, fair to say, has returned the favor. It's not an easy place to love. So talk a little bit about those early years and how you, how you came here and, and, and how you just yeah. took to it and, and, and in return we took to you. Well, you know, I came from California. I was a UCLA guy. And, um, and I, I came here to uh, develop a school of music at Oakland University. Uh, I was interested in building rather than going to a famous university and teach 18th century opera, which was my specialty sure. in terms of... And, uh, and the city was right there be before me. And uh, there was no opera company, and uh, it was one of the great cities. Not everybody knew it. Sure. I thought that was always a really interesting thing about Detroit, is that people didn't understand just really how great they were as a city and what their potential was. And being able to see those opportunities uh, when others don't is the mark of uh, visionary. And of course, we have to have vision moving forward, uh, Wayne, for Michigan Opera Theater. And I know you got big plans. I was hear, hearing about something the other day, but there's got to be more stuff uh, just down the road uh, building oh, and, on this legacy. Indeed, the, indeed there is. And in fact, uh, when we think about those early years uh, with David DiChiara, uh, I, ha I happen to remember that uh, uh, the fact that I was with another arts organization about, at the very same time that uh, David created Michigan Opera Theater. And it was at that point, uh, Governor Milliken uh, made a first uh, time allocation to support the major arts institutions in Michigan. That was the, the Detroit Institute of Arts, the Detroit Symphony Orchestra, and Michigan Opera Theater. And it was all designed to make sure that the work, the artistry, was made available to citizens throughout the, throughout the, throughout the region. And so we have strong ties. And I remember the role that Senator Saxon, uh, Faxon played uh, at that time in terms of being strong advocates and, and believers in the work that, that he was so dedicated uh, to, to devote. Coming from UCLA, uh, he left those uh, ties up uh, there and quickly embraced Oakland University, Wayne State University, University of Michigan. And uh, those have, we have man managed to build on those relationships, and we've been delighted. Wayne Brown, uh, Dr. David DiChiara, uh, more to come here on uh, Detroit Performs. A salute to Dr. David DiChiara. And we are back on Detroit Performs, a grand salute to Dr. David DiChiara, joining us once again here uh, inside the studio. We are going through this uh, grand salute from the stage of the Detroit Opera House, a venue which will forever now be known as David DiChiara Center for Performing Arts. How does that hit you? Well, it hits me, but it's always, for me, the Detroit Opera House. Mm -hmm. They can put whatever they want <laughs> to add to it, but my dream was that there should be an opera house in Detroit, and that's what it is. So. Uh, the, the other name is fine, but it's Detroit. Well, it wouldn't be uh, a grand salute without a, a mezzo-soprano. So Denise Graves Denise is Graves. coming up a word, of, well, a word before we hear this performance. Oh, she's one of the great artists, of, really, of our time. Uh, she, um, she created uh, the world premiere for me of Margaret Garner, who, who, fabulous opera about uh, slavery in America. Sure. And uh, she has had, she's an amazing artist. And she sang, I think maybe she's, that's what she's going to sing. Is that's Deep right, coming River. up, yeah. Denise Graves, uh, uh, Deep River from the Grand Salute here on Detroit Performs. 